Welcome back to the VTC course on Wireshark. In the previous video, we started to navigate the provided menus and options available with Wireshark. In this video, we will take a look at Wireshark usage within your own network for network troubleshooting and also system administration. Network placement is of high importance for proper analysis and troubleshooting of any network. When wanting to troubleshoot or just capture data on your network, it's important to make sure that you are on the correct network segment. When troubleshooting network issues, you may move between various wiring closets, switches, and even different buildings. For this reason alone, it is beneficial to have Wireshark installed on a laptop. It will be much faster, easier, and will save you a lot of time. Also with the added benefit of being able to check the wireless network at the same time. It is also a good idea to keep a small network hub and some network cables with your laptop for use as a troubleshooting toolkit. We will go ahead and review some placements within different types of networks. The following image shows the incorrect placement of Wireshark. If you want to capture communication between the external client and the server. The Wireshark laptop and the switch it is connected to will not see traffic destined for the server because it is routed to the server's switch. This time if capturing traffic from the external client to the server using port spanning, the Wireshark laptop must be connected to the same switch as the server. Next, port spanning is activated on the switch to mirror all traffic to and from the server's port to the port that Wireshark is plugged into. Using this method will not cause any disruption to the traffic to and from the server. The following image shows how to capture traffic from the external client to the server using a hub. Installing a hub between the server and the switch and then connecting the Wireshark laptop to it. Wireshark will then see all traffic going to and coming from the server. This would of course disrupt the network traffic while the hub is being installed and the cables connected. Installing a permanent tap is the best solution, especially for larger networks as this image shows which is installed at the router. Some administrators use this method for a permanent connection point at critical areas within their network. The Wireshark laptop then sees all traffic going to and from the server, plus any other traffic on the segment. Using this method does not disrupt traffic to and from the server. If the tap is permanently installed, and the cables are already connected. Then you can simply hop along and connect your Wireshark laptop whenever you need. Taps can also be portable and used like the hub within the previous image. Most network architectures aren't as simple as those I have shown you. However, these basic examples should give you a very good idea of how to use Wireshark at various points within your own network. Some architectures are very complicated and can be fully meshed, also including redundancy. Also, network segments can branch out for several levels as your network expands to multiple buildings and floors within the building. You must have a good understanding of your own network in order to make the most effective choices for placement of your Wireshark sniffer. In the next video, we will review the Wireshark usage for network troubleshooting.